Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd do a hashtag Snappin' Sunday, but then um, feature some other goodies because I don't have too much to share for Snappin' Sunday. Um, these are uh, a couple, well, a few of the Valentine's Day stamps that I have. Um, this one here is new this year at Michael's and my store only had one left. So I did rush out to pick it, pick it up just for another variety. Um, I have a die sentiment i cannot find it it's like happy valentine's day who knows where it is in my stash um but i did make a stack of cards and i do plan on um using a couple of these um and then just quickly because i just picked up a couple few items from michael's i wanted to share that with you guys so um this was one of the die cut um sets that they had they had a couple more um, that just, I guess the colors weren't really, uh, jiving with me. I mean, yeah, they're pink and, but it's, it was like the shade and they're very florally and, um, yeah, lots there, but I just decided to pick up this. I really love that, uh, rose bone arrow. Um, and then, yeah, sorry, I'm one handed, so I, I can't really open it up, but as you can see here, you know, it's that same red truck. I'll zoom in there for you guys key to my heart love that I love this pack because it had like nice pieces I could work with for card making and then um a couple of their ribbons here super super cute I just had to have that um little face one it reminds me of a collection from create paper I think it was like um uh squeeze or I, I can't it's not even coming to me right now I just really like this one as well and I love that they're a vertical and not like horizontal if I wanted to make tassels they would be there um so yeah I I'll share a couple cards with you guys the ones um these are the sentiments I'll be stamping inside so yeah I did I've only played with one of the um all hearts collection cards so there's that and I just had a cut apart so I put that one on there and then this stack I just I needed to make cards this year uh, for Valentine's because I didn't have many I gave away a lot last year and this XOXO was a stack of cards that was on clearance like years ago I think I got it for like 30 cents from Michael so I'm like okay time to use them and uh, these tags are just from a cut apart and I'm like you know I'm just gonna do a simple maybe throw a bow on top to embellish it but so cute um, perfect for like one postage stamp um cards yeah and like they're blank so oh except this one i put a stuck in you but yeah i'll be stamping them and then these cards here were from recollections i got from dollar tree was it last year or the year before that so i was like i need to use them so they they have that pocket in there i think they're designed to be like wedding cards with like the rsvp so um that's all i did was cut a strip these are just scraps i needed to use up so i'll be stamping a sentiment in there more scraps same type of card yeah i'm really trying to use up my scraps this year again this was um gave it a little torn vibe just with my fine liner went around to give it that stitch look just to oomph it up a bit give it some pizzazz again super flat mill friendly like if you're mailing um from the u.s to canada vice versa from canada to the u.s if it's flat the postage is not that much it's still maybe like a dollar and change so just keep that in mind um yeah it's not it's not bad at all i've definitely mailed um flat mail to the u.s and it's usually um if, if i keep it under a certain weight and um the it's not too thick it's it's like under three bucks so I do plan on sending out a couple cards here again really just like this is totally a scrap piece with that perforated top I just kept it on there um again went around with the fine liner kind of give it that stitch look but I just wanted to use up random bits odds and ends that I had sitting around again I don't know what I was doing with this but I had like a nice strip and I just threw on some of the all hearts chipboard I might do something else too. It looks a little plain. 
and you know this 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 little tuck spot is nice to throw in some goodies i'm not sure i just kind of put it in there for now just for some flat mill um and then yeah this was a big cut apart piece from a recollections pad from a few years back so i'm like perfect there's a card and this here this was from like a makeup type pad, but I love this. P.S. I love you. This is like a more like a Valentine's Day card. So I'll send that out to, I don't know, a crafty friend or something. But I got a good stack going. I got some stamping to do today. Um, and yeah, I wanted to use those stamps as well, maybe. And if like I did share this on my Instagram, I'm working on two kind of more embellishment style albums um that i'm gonna send out to a couple crafty friends um so this one here you guys i've done these acetate um binder type albums in the past but i didn't have one of those um binder rings the more sturdy ones that you know you can get from aliexpress so all i used was some binder rings i just pierced two holes slipped it through and my sewing was like I am so rusty I feel like I've not made one of these and this is larger than I usually go I think this is like four and a half by seven um so it's a little bit flimsier but it's still super cute you can see my sewing is like so rusty but I, I love it I love it's so fun with the shaker sore for the glare guys um yeah, I don't want to do a complete uh, flip through because I do want it to leave a, it as a surprise for my crafty recipient. But yeah, just um, lots of sewing in this one, like lots of pages, lots very fun and very girly. And they are like there's compartments here that are stuffed with goodies. I did a little bit of that and just yeah. So like I said, I want to kind of keep this a surprise. Um, and then there's room for her if she wants to fill it up or whatever and then this keychain if you're wondering i received this from some friend mail uh as friend mail back in the day and i just thought it was so cute and so simple it just totally jived with um i don't know the, the look of this acetate binder sorry in case you're like where the where, like what is this this is my husband's chair that i'm filming on because i sit adjacent to him um in our office so i'm just like my desk is a mess like I have no space to do any filming. So I'm like, I, if I don't get this out, then I may not ever get to share this. And then um, here, oh my gosh. So this album, haven't done anything yet. I got to stick a tassel or something up there. Has been in the works for a couple years. I was, I had planned to do a swap with someone and then I guess they backed out last minute and that happens all the time. And that's okay, right? Life happens for people. So um, yeah, this particular person I plan to do a swap with them back in the day and then it just kind of went wonky and I never heard from them so I'm like okay and then I never finished it but I actually am almost done um I think I want to throw some trim on the edges but again this is an embellishment album as well I don't want to do too much because I do want to leave it as a surprise for the recipient um but yeah I threw some of the uh, my embellishments on there with some foam that they could take off. But in the back here, ever so lightly, I use my stamp, um, you know, handmade by Callie G. Sometimes I don't want it to stick out like a sore thumb. So I like this kind of like this gray distress ink, grayish white um, from, uh, is it Tim Holtz? Um, yeah. And I just, it's almost like a watermark, which I really appreciate. So like the, the recipient remembers who it's from, but it's not like standing out like a, yeah, sore, yeah, thumb and just, yeah. So, and then there's the, um, spine, but this has been sitting in my stash for like well over two years. And I'm like, I need to finish this and send it to another, um, crafty friend. And that happens, you know, um, and it's okay. J I think uh, Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing calls it UFOs, unfinished um, projects. No, unfinished. She, she calls it something. I'm not seeing it right. It's like she calls it Uf UFOs, unfinished objects, maybe? Projects, objects. But I, when she said that, I totally relate. When she uses that um, abbreviation, I have so many unfinished projects embellishments all that in my stash this year i'm really focusing on 
okay, if it's unfinished, either you're going to finish it, you're going to give it away to someone who would be happy to finish it, or you got to de-stash it or, you know, donate it. So that's really um, in the back of my mind this year. I'm so sorry. This Snappin' Sunday is like now so unrelated, but I I'll do a slash um, uh, chit chat. So yeah, again, these are my stamps. I'm like, I don't have many because I, I wasn't, I'm not a huge stamper. I've always had stamps, but now I'm just really kind of trying to get into using them um but yeah so that's I guess that's like my mindset for 2023 with um my all my craft supplies um throughout all the seasonal crafting and all that that I that I do um I did mention this to um West Coast Crafty Babe and I were messaging each other last night and, I, and we were just talking about like because she's doing some major de-stashing and I'm like yeah I'm in the same boat so I'm not sure if it's going to be this year or next year, but uh, so currently I'm in a townhome, a three bedroom and den townhome, which you would think is enough rooms for, you know, a pair like a couple and two kids, but clearly not. So, um, I don't want to get into it too much, but one of the, yeah, one of the rooms has been turned into a playroom and my husband uses a room for a home office. And so we are like, walking all over each other sometimes and um we we figure it was time to upgrade um and get a bigger home so I'm really not trying to do like up my stash I'm really trying to like m work on I can't say minimizing I'll never have a minimal I'll never be, be a minimalist crafter but um I have to have that mindset because when we move it's going to be crazy so um yeah, just to give you guys an idea of what to expect for this year. Anyhow, yeah, ch um, I'm going to link above uh, Thelma Hall, the hashtag Snappin' Sunday, and um, it's co-hosted by Paula, Crafting by the Pawn. <laughs> this is the, every video I have is so chit-chatty these days. Um, my daughter's sleeping and my husband's out with um, our son visiting the in-laws. My baby got her first tooth, that's why. So you know how they are. They're a little cranky. So I, st I decided to stay home with baby girl. While they're out visiting, love my in-laws. I always look forward to that. So yeah, while they're out doing that, I decided I'm going to go through my stuff, finish up um, album so I can hopefully send out like, I, I, I'm going to say a week because I still have some finishing touches, but it's hard. Like I'll, when I get like half an hour here or there, I'll, I'll jump down to um, my crafty area and try to like add some embellishments and finishing odds and ends. But because I don't like to send out um, projects that I'm not completely like happy with, you know, so and then cards, same thing. I'm probably going to try to get them out within like a week or so. If you guys want to do a card swap with me, let me know. Hit me up. Um, I'm happy to do one because I don't. Um, want you to feel like, oh, I didn't send you a card. It's, it's just, uh, the, I, I usually will send to the usuals that love, um, card swapping or do card swaps. So, um, just putting that out there. So, yeah. Um, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their Sunday. If you can hear the rain in the background and the cars, yeah, we're right by, we're right beside a very busy, um, road. So yeah, you can hear them running by and then the, the rain just I, and I find that actually very relaxing. I don't mind that. But yeah, this is what I have um, planned for the next, I don't know, next hour or so. And then my daughter will get up. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to stamp away. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, take care. Bye.